All right. <laughs> All right. So here we are. So we're going to make a new drawing. Apologize, everybody here. So uh, in order to make a new drawing, I want to make sure I'm going to just take take the layers from before here. So that's what I'm going to do. So um, what what I first have to do is go to my existing drawing that I know is has the layers I need, and I'm going to go over here to the Layer States Manager. All right. Um, and so what I do is I have to uh, create a new one. And so this is going to be new. I'll call this. Um, uh, this is going to be for my connecting rod. So I'm going to say connecting rod. I'm going to say three because apparently I've done this before. Okay, there it is. And I need to export it. That's a connecting rod three. Make sure it's a .las. Let's say save. All right, and then close it. So this is the one that I'm going to be making here. I took an old drawing uh, that had layers in it. I didn't want to make all the layers again. So here we go. Now, um, Let's go to a new, let's make a new drawing. So I'll go file new and make sure it's in inches because that's what this is or imperial and say, okay. So then what I'll do is I'll go to the layers on this one and there should be nothing there, right? So nothing's there. Now, before I import it, this little trick you have to do is make sure that you go into the line type and load it. And then I'll say, select it, control A for everything and say, all right. And then say okay, and I know it's there because when I go to my line type, it's they're all there. And now what I'll do is I'll go to the uh, on the new file, the Layer States Manager, and I'll say import. Make sure it is a .las, and it's going to go right to the same place that it exported. And so this is connecting rod three. All right, and there it is. Let's check my layers, and sure enough, they're all there, which is a really nice feature. So I'm going to work on the construction. Say, okay, all right, so that's the layer I'm gonna work on is construction, all right. So what I need to do then is I'm gonna draw this. Um, this is actually uh, drawn correctly. If you notice that it's 6.5 to the center. So you can take your calculator here and I just did it here. So it's, um, it's gonna be half of 1.25 is 0.625. So um, what I would do then is you could do it either way. You could draw it with the center, your zero, zero being right here. That's probably fine, whatever whatever works for you. So uh, let's go ahead and draw our construction line. So let's just go ahead and say draw. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and select the construction line. And I'm gonna draw my horizontal first, type in zero comma zero, enter. All right, and then hit, uh, uh, I can zoom out. There it is. Problem is I have no idea how big this is. Let's go ahead and draw my vertical one. So type in zero. Oh, actually, let's go. Sorry. Let's go uh, vertical and then zero comma zero again. Enter. All right. So let's then, um, you know, it might be easier. Let's just give it what we has. And so meaning that that's this is going to be my center line. So that's OK. Um, let's then go ahead and um, we can just either. Let's just work off that. Let's just give it what we have here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go offset. The distance is 6.5. Enter, select the line, 6.5, all right? And so it's not never a bad idea just to quickly just check your dimensions, right? Uh, you know, it, sometimes it doesn't like to snap to that zero, zero, but all right, there it is, all right? So sometimes the dimensions get a little tricky there. All right, so that looks good, 6.5. Um, let's draw the height of this. Um, again, we're gonna draw it, you know, it, let's, let's. Uh, it's set, notice it's the center. So let's just, just for the sake of this demo, let's just work with what we have here. So let's make the um, center line. What we might wanna do is, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. So the height of this is going to be, we know it's going to be actually a little bit bigger. It's going to be, um, let's just draw offset here. So you can do this in multiple ways. Uh, you know, reality is it's, uh, it says that the radius is uh, 0.25. So, you know, what we might want to do here is just go offset 3.5, all right? And so that should make a difference. Uh, all right, and so select this line here. And so let's just verify that. And then let's, what we could do is kind of start this thing. So um, 
let's just go ahead and start a circle here. All right, just to, just to get this started here. So I'm gonna go circle uh, diameter. And this is my, my zero, zero here, right? We made it like that. And so this is a 1.25. Enter. All right. And so this is actually part of our object. So we could go object here. Um, and then let's uh, let's draw this other one here. There's another circle here. So um, what we could do, yeah, so I don't know if that was the best way to do it. Let's go um, move. So you just have to think about how you're going to do this. All right. So um, that is going to be up. So let's uh, let's go let's go like this. So we're going to take a line here. Let's go at the center of this object. So bear with me, everybody. Uh, we'll go in. Uh, we said the whole t thing was th uh, three point five. So half of it. Is going to be one point seven five. So I always recommend you really analyze the drawing before you get too carried away. Uh, so what that means is this is M for move. It's like the object, to the center of it. It should be here. Uh, let's just let's just see what we're doing before we get too carried away. So let's make a circle uh, radius. This is my center here. Uh, this one's going to be. Um, let's draw one. That's my radius. Enter. Push enter again. Uh, select right here. This one's going to be 1.25. All right, uh, let's type in trim. All right, let's just verify these radiuses here. That looks good. Okay, so that looks good. So then these are going to go to my, uh, my object line. Okay, uh, so we can start to build this a little bit. All right, so then uh, the thing to look at this drawing, it's a little deceptive. Uh, this part here is half an inch. It doesn't go all the way through. So just be aware of that. But let's go ahead and draw as much of this to the side as we can. So it's 0.75. So um, because this is the center here, what I could do is just decide that um, 0.75 divided by two is 0.375. So let's make an offset here, uh, which is 0.375, enter. All right, active command. All right, so that's gonna be this top part. So I can make a line essentially that goes from here to here, even though I know there's a radius there. All right, and another one. We could probably mirror it, but that's okay. So let's select this line and this line, and let's put it into our object line. All right, there is a radius here that says uh, radius R.5. Um, so let's go to our fillet and uh, select the radius. And we said that the radius is 0.5, enter. It's like this object, let's see if it's gonna work here. Yeah, there we go, and push enter again, because it's the active command. All right, uh, that looks good. Uh, there's another radius here. This one is radius of two inches, so push enter, because it's still the active command. And this time we're gonna type in two, enter. One, two, push enter again, one, two. Um, I kind of, oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. I got a little ahead of myself here. Um, you notice, so what I need to do is actually kind of build this out because this this stays, but I need to build that other radius behind it. So just bear with me. All right. So let's, uh, let's just start building this kind of uh, this object up here. So I'm just going to take a line here. Um, it says that um, it's, let's see, point two five um two five yeah that's that's where it starts all right so 0.25 and then i gotta add that radius so this is a little tricky one isn't it so 
enter. And then it's got a little radius there that is uh, goes up uh, 0.25. Okay, so that looks good. So um, we know though that this line from here goes back. All right, so I just, you only can work with what it gives you here. So I know that there's a line here and this goes back point for, uh, point 0.5 and then it goes up to the top. That is actually correct. All right, um, and then there's a line here. Boy, they don't make it easy. That's uh, 0.25. And so I will just show you what I'm doing so you're not confused here. So um, we should be able to verify this by the dimensions it's giving us. So I should be able to go here. And that's 0.5. And this one should be 0.75. All right, those are the two dimensions. And then, um, right, it comes up. We know that there's another little dimension here. So you can only work with what it gives you, right? 0.25. And then there's a radius. I think I've got that right. Yeah, so then that looks good. All right, so um, that means I've got a circle here that's got a radius of two. So I would do that, but well, there's a couple different ways to do that. How is the best way to do it? So um, you could go circle. Let's see the best way to do it. I would probably do something. Let's see the fastest way to do this. I need to make a circle that's a radius. So circle, let me just cheat a little bit. Circle, radius, and the radius is two. Double check that circle radius. And for move. So this is where it's intersecting. So remember I have my, uh, my snap settings. So I've got my object snap to extension and tangent and midpoint. So I'm, I'm using all these right now. So this is a circle here. Let's just verify it. What I've done is I've created a circle with a radius of two inches, right? And there's a lot of different ways you could do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this circle now. Now I know that it is intersecting at this point right here, which is 0.75 over. So that's, that's right there. This circle intersects right there. So what I'll do is I'll say M for move. I'll type in move, enter, select the object, enter. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it over here to the base point. Then I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna move it back to that point and it will snap right there. And now what I'll do is I'll say trim, T-R-I-M. So let's double check this radius here. Bingo, all right. So now let's type in trim. Let's get rid of this line. Then that's my construction line. So what I could do is go to my layers. This is a very tedious little exercise, but it's all good. I could turn the construction line off. It's gonna say, you sure? Yeah. Turn it off. All right, so there it is. So we wanna make sure that we put everything in the correct layer here. So I'm gonna put this one, these lines here, all these lines need to go into my, all right. I feel like I'm probably missing a couple, but that's okay. All right, so then this is gonna go uh, here. This is gonna to go to my object line, okay? So I don't need this one right here. Okay, so um, now there's hidden lines, there's all sorts of things. So once I have this, there's no sense of doing the same thing here. So what I'll do is I'll go mirror, M-I-R-R-O-O-R, -R -O -O enter. Let's go ahead and select these objects so I could just grab them all if I want. Push enter and just rotate it around, zero degrees. 
Do I want to get rid of them? No. So push enter. All right. So I've kind of started building this thing. Now, this is actually a radius. So, so we've got to deal with that. Um, okay. So let's, let's, uh, let's just draw this out a little bit more. Let's go ahead and draw the, this hole in here. So I'll go to circle uh, diameter, snap on my, this should be at zero, zero. So I could just type in zero comma zero. No, it's not zero, zero. It's actually, uh, we raise it up if you remember. Okay, so this uh, diameter is uh, one. All right, so let's just verify that. So we don't want a radius, we want a diameter here. That's good, okay. So let's move that into my object layer. Very kind of slow, tedious lesson here. Okay, so then we've got this, uh, this weird thing going on in here. Let's just draw that out here. So this is, again, I'm just working with the information that it provides us. So now I've got this, uh, uh, it's approximately half an inch and it's three inches. So let's draw that, uh, but where does it start? So it's gonna be an important part here. So what it's telling me is the center of this circle here is two inches over. So what I might do then is go um, offset, two, construction line, there it is, all right? So what that is, is that's the center here. Now I could go offset, right? So offset, uh, this is gonna be three for my construction line. Select this object go over three, all right? And so then what I can do is go ahead and make a, I can just go uh, circle diameter and put this one here. And it says it is, diameter is gonna be 0.5 inches. All right, push enter, it's at live command, do another one here, 0.5 inches. Oh, I did diameter, sorry, let's do that again. So that was radius, circle defaults to radius, I notice um, here, 0.5. All right, and then I could I could just make another line or honestly, I could just come up here and snap this over here. And that looks good. I could mirror it or just, let's just make another one. All right, let's type in trim. Get rid of these lines I don't need. All right, let's put this, these into our new layer, our object layer, and I think I'm just got about as much as I probably can work with here. All right, so then uh, what we can do then is, now there are hidden lines I haven't shown. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but this is essentially everything I have. Um, would I have, yes, I would have that line. Uh, it's not a hidden line. So uh, just double checking my lines here. I don't think I've added, uh, it's probably not a bad idea to turn the construction lines off because I think I need to add some vertical lines here. Uh, all right, but we can get to that. All right, so. All right, so um, I have to draw these front lines here. All right, so I feel like this is good. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just make our object line our main and let's turn our construction line off. All right, so there we go. So yep, good, a couple more things to trim, T-R-I-M. We don't need that. And I think we're looking good here for the most part. All right. Oh, so just clean this up a little bit here. And then let's go ahead and create our other. So that is going to be my uh, front. So I could uh, just for the sake of argument here, let's just go ahead and put it here. And uh, height, polar. And we'll call this front. All right, front view. Now let's get our, our, our layers on there. Sorry, this is such a long lesson here, but these are kind of tedious long, long lessons, all right. So then let's go ahead and draw the uh, top view. So let's go ahead and offset the line here and we'll offset it by two inches. Now you could do it more, but two inches is probably fine. All right, and then the width of this is going to be, um, the width is going to be, let's see, what is the width here? It's gonna be this point here. And um, is it giving it to me anywhere or do I have to add it up? It's 0.5 is the center. <coughs> and then, um, come on, oh, it's one inch. Um, I think the whole thing is one inch. Right here it says one inch. Uh, that looks to be 
consistent throughout. It's is it telling me the depth there, but I know it's one inch here. And that, that's the only dimension it's giving me that is going to be the width. All right. So what I mean by that is I'm going to go ahead and offset this object and it's going to go one inch. And that's going to be the height of this object. So what I can do then <coughs> is <clears throat> uh, if you want, um, if you need to, it might be easier here to just go ahead and draw some of these parts here. So construction line, vertical, and just snap it here snap it here, uh, snap it here, all right? You can, you can do some, some of this if you need to. I don't wanna get too many lines. It gets confusing very quickly as you can all imagine. Now let's go ahead and put these into our, um, our uh, construction lines here, all right? So, all right, so let's uh, continue on here. Now let's just put some quick little dimensions on here just so we can verify uh, some of these dimensions here. So, um, this is one inch. And so um, maybe what we'll do is let's go ahead in the construction line. Let's make this our active layer. And uh, all right. So the reason why we need to know this is because uh, the uh, width of the object from the top view and the side view will be the same, right? So knowing that, um, I'm going to go ahead and make another two inch gap. These have to be the same, right? And so students quite often have the question, well, why isn't this the front view and this the side view. If you think about it, the media that we're working with is, is a horizontal, uh, meaning that if I was to make this the front view, the um, the top view would be straight up and down, not in this horizontal format. And so it's not that it would be inaccurate, it's just that the media that we typically use is horizontal. So it just makes a lot more sense if the, uh, the, the Majority of the width is here in this front view. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So I'll go ahead and hit offset. Um, and it's going to be uh, two inches. Select this line here. And then the other thing I need to do, I know that's one inch. So let's go offset again. So it's active layer. So I just push enter. Um, and I can um, select this line here. And then we'll type in one. All right. So if that is accurate, then I should be able to take a line here. And it should be at 45 degree angles, uh, at 45 degree angle. And sure enough, that's what it is. Okay, so then what we can do is um, let's go ahead and build the top of this. Now, um, I think it might help for us to uh, maybe create a center line here. Let's just see real quickly here what I want to do. Uh, so I can put a center line, but you know what? Uh, let's take a look at this drawing here. It says that this is one inch. And then I can tell from this. Um, the radius uh, that that the centerpiece here is going to be uh, half an inch. And so, uh, because I can obviously take the radius times two, that's the diameter, which is a half an inch. And so this is the same uh, part here. So we'll go ahead here and let's go offset and um, select the uh, distance is gonna be 0.25. Hopefully I'm doing this right. And then do the other again. All right, so that should be the bulk of this. So let's just draw some lines in here. Um, and let's go ahead and change this to our uh, object line. And then let's just draw a bunch of lines in here to help us uh, navigate through this. All right, so uh, I can just right now basically use a rectangle. I'm obviously going to have to trim it. And I'm just going to just uh, do something like this. All right, that's the top view of that cylinder right there. Uh, we've got another one going on here. We're going to trim these lines, but I just want to get the basic shape in here. Uh, so that's this one right here. That's the beauty of these construction lines. So obviously we're going to be doing, doing some trimming and then we can do another one. Now this is actually a unique one because that intersection is um, where it becomes tangent. So it would probably be something like this, right? So come up here and then uh, there's a couple different points where it hits this, um, so right there. All right, so basically that looks good. Now we can do some trim. And boy, hopefully that's right here. Yeah, I need to add another line right there. So you can either, um, you can either take the construction lines, you know, the nice thing about setting this up where you have your snap settings where it's uh, it's extension 
And the way I have it set up is I can just go here to my line. I know there's a line here and I can come straight up with it and make a line there. So it's kind of like a, like a construction line. All right, so uh, that is that little part right there. So let's just motor through this. Now, the other thing is this only goes in point, uh, one, two, five, right? So it doesn't go all the way through. And the way that I would show that, and I think I could do it from here might be the easiest way. Um, you could draw a line here. So in theory, I could go just to make this easier and quicker. I could make a line here and come straight up with it. Do the same over here. And then turn these in construction lines, uh, just as the back of this. All right. So that would mean that I could draw a, uh, a rectangle that would go from here. Now, you know what? I know that it needs to go in 0.125, so I might need a construction line. Let's let's add another one. So I'll, I'll go uh, offset and 0.125, enter, select this line here, and there it is. And that's gonna be the inside here. So then what I could do is just, I could go, go ahead and just draw a rectangle because this is gonna be a hidden line. So I could draw a rectangle here. All right, that's, that's coming up to there. And then let's take this and make this a um, hidden line. All right, and then while we're here, let's go ahead and uh, mirror this. And it should go like that. I got a couple too many lines, but that's okay. All right, so then uh, not a bad idea. Just to turn the construction line off real quick and just see what we have here, okay? All right, so uh, let's make some more hidden lines here while we're in that mode here. Now I could take a construction line again, or I could just go ahead and snap this forward. Make another one. Problem with construction lines, as you know, is it can get really crowded and these are gonna be hidden lines. So take this one, this one. And sometimes it's it's okay to just do it at the very end, but you know, there's so much going on here. Uh, let's make another one here. I need to show it's it's where that, that that end of that cylinder, right? So let's come up here, come up. You just have to be careful that you're doing these at 90 degree angles. Sometimes you get a little sloppy. Hit line here. Um, we need to put a center line in there. So a great way to center line. Let's go ahead and, and put this to the center line this way. When I do my snapping, it'll work. So what I mean by that is I go dimension, uh, center mark right there, push enter, do it again, push enter. Now I, I can make the extensions, but uh, let's go ahead and draw a, a line. This is gonna be a center mark here. So I'll, I'll put it here, back it off and come up. All right. And I could do the same over here. Oh, I got to draw the other one over here. We're not there yet. All right. So I think that's a pretty good. Now I, I, I have to make uh, more here, but I'll wait. I think that's a pretty good uh, uh, start to the top view. Uh, let's go ahead and just for the sake of the viewing audience here, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, that's not what I want to do. Control C, Control V. This will be our top view. Just so when I'm referring to it, you can understand what we're doing here. Okay, that's top view. Uh, this should be one inch. Not a bad idea to just verify it. I know I'm in the, uh, Let's, let's actually, why don't we go back to the construction line because we're going to make some of those. So this is going to be my active layer. Let's just verify this dimension. Should be one inch. I know it is because that was a 45 degree, but let's just verify. Okay, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and build this from the front view. So uh, best way to do it is these, these lines. So I'll go ahead and just go draw. Now I could measure it and offset, or I could just very carefully uh, make these lines. And so sometimes it's easier just to build half and then mirror it. Maybe I'll do that for the sake of this class here, right? So, so you got a lot of lines here. So that's gonna be a line. Uh, then I've got the center line here. So I know that it's, that the, uh, this is, um, we said that was half an inch diameter because the radius. So what I can do then is just go ahead with the construction line at this intersection, you gotta be really careful here that you're you're doing this correctly, make sure. All right, and then another one. 
come over here to this point and come down. What that is, is this is going to be that, that little radius there. So I'm going to build that. Now, if you look at it, it actually, uh, there's a radius of, we said uh, half an end or 0.25, but it actually comes up a bit and it comes up a uh, quarter of an inch. So what I could do then is take a line here and maybe we'll just uh, call this the object line and take a line and from here it comes up point, uh, it says uh, two five. All right, enter, oh, do that again really carefully, point two five, enter, escape. Um, we could go ahead and mirror this if we want. I think we can mirror this. I'm not sure if I have enough parts to mirror it though. Let's see, where would I mirror it from? Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't have a line yet, but that's okay. Let's just build another one. All right, uh, let's make a circle. Let's see with a radius of uh, 0.25. Let's see what happens here. Can I do this? Yeah, I don't have a center line. Let's let's go ahead and just build this little center line here. Radius 0.25, that's exactly what we want. Uh, and then we can trim this. All right, there's a hole in here that has a radius, a diameter of 0.25. So let's go circle diameter. And uh, it is, I think this is the, should be the exact same, sharing the same point. And we type in 0.25, enter. So that looks good, all right. Um, let's just build some additional lines here. This comes to the end. All right, so that's that part. It comes down and comes down, comes over and then up. All right, so that is this part right here. I've just built uh, that looking at this as the side view. So let's label this for everybody. And we're going to call this a side view. Okay. All right. So uh, you can always turn the construction lines off real quick just to see where you're going. All right. So um, let's just go. You know what we can do? Let's just draw this in half and then I'll just mirror this. Just make sure we're doing this right. Okay. And then uh, construction line off. Looks good. Uh, just verify it real quick. Everything looks fine. Let's type in mirror. All right. M-I-R-R-O-R. -R -R. All right. Set this object here. I could come over here and come over. Um, don't want to delete source objects, so I'll push enter. Let's put our construction lines on just to verify where we are. Okay, so you can see why working in halves is a little easier. So that looks good. Um, I have more to do here. So for example, I still need to put a center line in here. Um, let's, I need to put a couple of these in here. Um, all right, so where are we here? So let's make our, um, uh, let's see, hidden lines, center lines. Boy, there's a bunch of, bunch of uh, hidden lines here that I'm gonna have to put in. This is gonna be a little tricky to be honest with you. So. Um, but let's go ahead and put our center lines in first, and then we can deal with the hidden lines. There's a lot of hidden lines there. So um, we'll go here to dimension, center mark, enter, push enter again. All right, so that's the one. We actually need to draw a line here from the center. All right, turn the construction line off to see what we're doing. Okay, looks good. Now I can, it's going to dimension this, I'd add a lot more, but let's go ahead and build these. Uh, boy, these are a little tricky here. We're going we're gonna to draw hidden lines here. So let's make this our active layer, hidden line. If I'm doing more than one, it's probably easier. And so I know the thickness of this uh, here, because I can just come straight down and it's already done for me part of it. So uh, let's just verify this comes all the way over and down. And um, Oh, 
Okay, so that's right, because we've already drawn this. So we're gonna draw this part right here as a hidden line. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a rectangle. And um, you can see it's a little tricky. I could probably throw another hidden line in here, uh, but essentially what I'd be doing is coming over here to here. And then on the other side, so this is really where you probably want to have a construction line, but I can see that should be good there. So uh, for kicks here, let's just go ahead and draw a construction line just for the viewing audience, make this our construction active layer. So I can show you what I just did. So we went uh, draw, I've already measured this. So I have to have a little faith in myself that I did that right. All right, so that's what that was. Uh, turn the construction line off, you can see it. Oh. So that's going to be this whole part. Now I have to draw that little recess portion into. So um, I could just go like, let's see how we want to do it. I could just go ahead. This is going to be my hidden line. So let's make that our active layer. Let's turn the construction line off. Um, let's see if that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, let's see, I could make a construction line. I could just make a line uh, come in here. Maybe construction lines the easiest way to do it. So, and I can mirror it just trying to avoid too many lines for you because it can get really confusing for you to watch. So I'm gonna need a construction line here, going down there and uh, put this into our construction. And then I can, well, let's just do the other side while we're here. So many lines, everybody. I know it's a little, little tedious here. All right. And throw this in our construction line and then we'll just go ahead and all right, it's gonna be a rectangle. Or let's just do it in lines. So it's gonna come from here down. So many lines. I'm drawing this object right here. See, I have to actually draw another hidden line here. All right. Bear with me, everybody. This is the advantage of using construction lines. You can see if your your error at if your error. All right. Enter. All right, I feel like I'm getting close to being done with this thing. All right, so good thing I did that. Uh, I noticed that my, um, these lines were too long. All right, so. So recesses here, that's what this is, that 0.125. And I could verify that real quick. If I just want to verify that should be 0.125. Yeah, sure enough, that's good. All right, um, maybe let's turn this construction line off so we have a little better clarity of what we're doing here. And so uh, this would be there. I feel like I'm not doing this right. Bear with me, everybody. So in fact, this would go all the way to the top there. And what I did, let's see, did I do that wrong? Okay, my apologies. You were, I was right to begin with. All right, so that's good. A lot of lines here, everybody, a lot of lines. And that's gonna be here on the other side. I think I already drew that line, but let's just do it again in case. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing this little recessed pocket area right there, which is 0.125 in. Let's turn these construction lines off. All right. Uh, hidden line, let's make that our active layer. All 
All right. Whew. That's a lot of lines here, folks. I think I was drawing on the opposite, uh, the wrong layer here. So let's try that again. Come on, folks. All right, so it's this construction line here, a lot of lines here. So I'm drawing this little pocket here and that's where it is. I can tell from, from my side, so I'm, I'm actually good. Now let's go ahead and mirror that. So that is this portion right here is the pocket there. The big box is this rectangle that we're seeing right here. All right, so let's go ahead and mirror this. All right, um, there's a lot going on here, right, folks? All right, so then uh, we actually have a line coming all the way down from here to there. Okay, I'm probably forgetting some lines. I'm just trying to get this demo going here. Put this in that construction line layer. All right, so a um, couple things. I, I noticed that I need to put another hidden line in here. So let's make that my active layer. Um, there's a plane here where we have two intersections, right? Like this, it's gonna be, we already have that there. So that's good. Uh, the other thing is um, the, this is where it's like a tangent radius. Typically you wouldn't uh, draw that. So sometimes you'll see it uh, both ways, but uh, if I was gonna, I could get rid of that line right there. Um, but you're gonna need it right here because it's at, at that intersection of that plane. The top of this is uh, probably needs to extend out here. So this line, uh, if I if you drag it and it does that, just you could simply add a line or just type and explode. Enter and then take this line and just bring this farther out to the front. And then we're gonna to need to draw that hidden line in there. So let's turn that back on the construction line. And so then let's turn on our hidden line and draw that line. And then we can draw that center line here. So I would probably just go like this, come in here. All right, so uh, anybody who's watching this video, please inspect it. I don't wanna be responsible for your, if you have an error on here, cause I noticed some students just kind of just don't necessarily go through the whole thing. All right, so we've got this one here. That's the center line. And then uh, we're gonna need that same one down here also, this hidden line here. So make sure you put that in here. So in theory, let's see, that doesn't look right. Okay, so what we need to do is stop. Uh, oh, all right, it's all good. 
All right, so maybe control X, control V. Sometimes you just need to step away, back, back away from a little bit. All right, turn the construction line off and inspect it. Okay, there it is. That's that hole. So let's add the hole here, the bottom. And it's the same. So I, I should be able to just go grab these three, control C for copy or copy um, on your edit copy. We all know how to copy by now. I sure hope we do. Okay. And then let's uh, turn our construction line back on. And um, let's add a construction line here. We just probably need one. And then we'll paste it onto here. All right. We actually should have done on the bottom. When you paste it, it automatically goes to the bottom. Um, so, or we could go offset here. And we know that that is, uh, that hole is, Uh, diameter 0.25, so we could go uh, offset 0.25, and then control V for paste. Yeah, it's not going to be so. M for move. Grab that point down there, and that should be there. All right, so, um, and then we'll mirror it and just double check all that. Okay. Mirror. All right, so I'm seeing something that does not look correct. What is going on there? All right, so it's always good to inspect what you're doing. That looks good. That looks good. I must not have selected the center part yet. Let's do, try it again, Control-Z. Mirror, let's see. That looks better. Okay, so uh, again, please, please um, make sure that you inspect this. I. It's a little hard when you're doing this live to stop and pause. Um, and then, so uh, you would then at this point do your dimensioning. Now remember, you would you would never you would never reveal your construction lines uh, like we did to uh, your final drawing or to a client. Um, so you would then at this point be able to dimension this. Um, and I would I would use this as the reference as the way to dimension. This is actually the accurate way. And uh, whenever you do dimension, less is more. Meaning that if you're going to show the six point five or this diameter on the on the front drawing, you don't need to show that on the side drawing, right? So you just have to figure out the best way uh, to provide the least amount of information, but still have everything. All right, and that concludes the lesson for today.